let's talk about how the coronavirus is going to affect the Indianapolis real estate market. And if you were thinking about buying or selling a house this year, you need to stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jillian Brown. I'm a licensed real estate agent in Indianapolis. Before I dive into the market update, I want to let you know that things are really weird out there and I'm here if you need anything. Seriously, I have a network of people willing, ready, and able to help if for some reason you can't get groceries or you're stuck in your house because you are sick and you need help. Don't hesitate to reach out. I will help you myself or connect you with somebody who can. If you just want to vent and talk about how frustrating this all is, I totally understand. I get it. I will have a glass of wine and listen to you talk. We are all in this together. Let's lift each other up. Let's be kind. Let's help each other out and we will get through this because this too is temporary. So today in Indiana there was an executive stay-at-home order signed by the governor. So I'm sure there's a lot of panic and people are wondering well, what does that all mean and I'm here to break it down at least as far as real estate is concerned. What that means for us as real estate agents, what that means for you as clients and how we can all work together to get through this. The official executive stay at home order deems real estate as an essential business, which is good news. That does not mean business as usual. We do have to continue to observe six feet of distance between people just for safety's sake. I'm not shaking hands. Nobody should be shaking hands at this point. Always washing my hands. You know, the rest of the stuff is really common sense. Clean high touch surfaces on a regular basis. Have hand sanitizer whenever possible. Possible. Maintain operating hours. My operating hours as a real estate agent are all over. I'm always available for you guys. But now my hours are virtual. So instead of meeting up, let's say, for a cup of coffee and talking and getting to know one another, here's what I'm implementing to stay safe. Instead of meeting face to face, I'm utilizing Zoom. It's completely free of charge. I can help you set up an account. I can walk you through the steps. I can send you a personal invitation to join a Zoom meeting between you and myself so that we can have a virtual face-to-face -face conversation. It's very easy and I've used it many times over the last, well, many times today even. It's a great way to have conversations right now while keeping a distance and keeping everybody safe. Okay, so what does all of this mean? What does the stay at home order mean? As I've mentioned, real estate is deemed essential professional services. Things are still moving. There were a 414 new properties that hit the market today in all of Indiana. So people are still selling houses, people are still buying houses. I have a closing this week. I have personally seen properties go off the market with multiple offers in a very short period of time. And by short period of time, I'm talking 24 hours or less. We are also seeing title companies are evolving just like real estate agents are evolving and pivoting to keep up with the changes in business. Title companies are now offering what's called curbside closings. That way you don't have to sit in a conference room with people in close quarters. You can do your signing outside curbside if you will. They'll notarize, you pull up, get it done and then leave, which is great. I have an iPhone. Do you have an iPhone? We can always FaceTime. So if you don't want to utilize Zoom and FaceTime is easier. I am happy to utilize that service for you. That's no problem. If you do decide to do that, please message me because my iPhone is my original New York State number. So I will just have to give you that. It's no big deal. We already utilize online e-signatures for most of the paperwork involved in a real estate transaction. Whether you're buying a house or selling a house, listing agreements, purchase agreements, all of those can be e-signed. Closing, you have to physically sign in it has to be notarized because that's when the transaction is completed. So there's some legalities around that. I'm not a title company. That's not my expertise. I rely on my network and my team to advise me on what to do. And as I've said before, I know of title companies that are offering curbside closings and adapting to today's climate. So if you are thinking of selling a house and you're pausing because of this, your safety and your comfort is my number one priority. So if you are considering listing your house, house and you still want to move forward, I already have a strategy in place. 
for your listing. We can utilize what's called 3D photography and it will set up a online virtual tour of your house. Think of it kind of like Google Earth, but for your home. So basically somebody could sit in their home from the comfort and safety of their home and walk through your house virtually. They can see all the nooks and crannies that they wanna see. They can zoom in, they can zoom out. They can get the flow of the house and go room to room. I'm not saying that this is the end all be all if somebody is going to see it virtually and want to buy your house. It's a very big decision. It's a very big purchase, but this will eliminate on foot traffic. So I can absolutely set that up and we can have a virtual tour of your listing out there. That's no problem. Like I said, it will cut down on foot traffic. We can also set it up so that your listing, if you're uncomfortable with people coming into your house, that they have to use that virtual tour and know that they're at least interested enough that they want to see it. And this will eliminate any looky loo that are out there or any neighbors. They can look at your house online. They don't need to be coming into your house. And we can also create a block of time for showings. So let's say we'll only allow showings on Saturday from one to four. And that way you don't have to constantly be cleaning and sanitizing and disinfecting your house for people just randomly coming through every day. We condense it and we make sure that they have seen your virtual tour before they get a showing. And we do not allow overlapping showings and we make the showings short and sweet 30 minute max. I know some other agents in my office have implemented this strategy and it's worked really good for them. So it's just another way that we can work together and figure this out. If you're thinking about buying a house and you're thinking about putting that on hold, I highly recommend that you don't. And the reason is right now rates are at a historic low. I would lock in your rate and when you lock in your rate, find out for how long it will last. But this is something that you can do now online if you would like to be referred to lenders. I have preferred lenders that I work with. Of course, you can use whoever you want to use. I'm just offering some help if you need it. And you can apply for a mortgage all online and get pre-approved within minutes. And then after that pre-approval letter comes out, you will have most likely random documents, tax records, W-2s, just to substantiate your income and your debt, right? That's an issue because of your debt to income ratio for mortgage purposes. Now that you're working from home and we're all stuck inside, it's a great time to apply for a mortgage because you have the time to utilize and get all of those documents together and send them to your lender and to get the approval process really moving and get ahead of it. Because I have a feeling that once this coronavirus is all said and done, the market is going to explode. And I'm just trying to give you a heads up so that you can get in now and be prepared so when it takes off, you are ready. Inventory is still low here in Indianapolis, so don't don't hesitate to list now. If you are concerned about safety and the safety of your family, I completely understand. I would never, never advise you to do something you're not comfortable with, but there are ways to be safe and to list your house, and I'm here to help you with that. With inventory being so low, there's a lot less competition, and nobody can predict the future. I can't predict the future, but I suspect that when this is over and the market goes crazy again, there's going to be more competition, and maybe your house won't get the attention that it needs or would have gotten had you listed now. Maybe there's a life situation that you can't afford to not list your house or not buy your house. I understand that buying and selling a house, it's a life event and there's usually another life event causing it, whether it's being a job promotion or a baby or a divorce or you're downsizing. I totally understand and I just want to let you know that I'm here to help you. If you have concerns, let's talk about them. Let's set up a Zoom meeting. Let's have a FaceTime call and let's talk about them and see how we can work together to get over them and to get your real estate goals met in Indianapolis. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out to me with my email addresses and I will make sure to put that down at the bottom of the screen for you. You can also send me a text message or give me a call and I'll make sure that my phone number is there too for you. Or just drop a comment, drop a note in the comment section. I'm always checking my comments. If there's some content Content that you would like to see me cover, feel free to drop that note in the comments as well. I would love the input. I hope you found this video helpful and of value. If so, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be here every week with new videos, keeping you informed on Indianapolis and the real estate market.